tip and push the issue. Grab a tissue and wipe some knowledge off me. Soak it up and see I broke as fuck and turn these steady flaws. Like the nails that's in the coffin. Gotta keep your shit together. Roll with the punches and I promise you can do whatever. No lolly gagging, determination is what is needed. She probably gagging and checking dope for every time he's needed. Beep, beep, I'm pulling up, checking dope once again. I need it. Say, check that hoe on the strip. Nowadays they be deceiving. I'm trying to get even with the dealer that dealt me these cars. Cause it wasn't God, he the reason why I got this bar. So I stay scheming and being me to the best of me. I'm blessed to say that I was cooked with a real nigga recipe. Shit. The night gon' roll and the money gon' fold. I'ma post and get my dough by the stove. You too. Top 10 most anticipated animes of 2023. We got a reaction here for you guys. Letty mm -hmm. back again. Panther here. Reed here. Let's go. Yeah. Today, Ooh. we have a big one. It's time for the year in preview video for the year 2023. Really after all, the only proper thing to do after. Have you started Jujutsu Kaisen yet? I gotta rewatch the fucking oh. first three episodes, bro. Shut up, bro. I gotta watch it. I'm gonna watch it. An eventful 2022 is yeah, to keep That's what I'm waiting for right there. to do that than to give us sequels to some of the most popular titles, as well as greenlighting anime adaptations of the hottest oh, yeah, manga and novels in the world. They better not play so now, with these Let's take a look at some too, titles bro. that ought to keep us it. looking forward. Let me tell you, as early as now, 2023 looks to be as star-studded as any other year, with a lot of titles that I'm sure a lot of you can't wait to watch. We start the list off in full overdrive Tell with Tokyo Avengers, yeah. Avengers Season 2. I gotta watch this too. Revenge Tokyo Revengers didn't waste any time making a name for itself in the anime community. Why Combining the today? time loop plotline with badass yeah, street work. gangs right. ended up being Bet. a winning formula, and people just can't get enough of Bet. Mikey and the rest of the Dorman. Bet. As such, the second season was all but guaranteed, and we're getting it sooner rather than later, this January specifically. This time, Tokyo Revengers will chronicle the Christmas conflict arc. This arc pits the Dorman against Black Dragon and the Shiba family. More intense fights and more gripping drama awaits as Draken and finally gets his time to shine in this arc. It's a oh, holiday God, special like no other. Coming this January 2023. Sanenda. Oh. <laughs> and if sequels aren't your jam, how about an adventure thriller That's in nice. Hell's Paradise? One of the rising stars in the manga world is about to make an impact in the anime sphere. Hell's Paradise is quite an honest title for what to expect. Starring a ninja who just can't seem to die, his immortality gets put know. to the test in a journey to an <laughs> island of peril. Along with the rest of the convicts, Gabimaru the Hollow looks to bring home the elixir of life, and along with it, his freedom. An island believed to be paradise hides in it dangers beyond anyone's wildest imagination. This dark adventure looks to make its mark this 2023, bringing with it mysteries and engaging characters that people can think of all throughout its run. It's looking to be a memorable hit this 2023. The R rating is more than fitting too, as this isn't your everyday shonen fair. You know what that means, bro? He looks like the main character, right? He has silver mm. hair. So, you know that. You already is. know. Everybody with silver hair, bro, in anime is crazy. Stupid strong. Speaking silver, of exploration, how about some more Dr. Silver Stone? hair and all mentors. Dr. Stone. Oh, I, I ain't finished this. I started, it's just too it's slow for me, while, bro. But it's nice to see it's Dr. Stone making a comeback. With the Stone Wars behind us, it's time to go exploring. Thus, Dr. Stone's third season looks to take us on a journey around the world with the manga's acclaimed Age of Exploration arc. We actually got a special that bridged the two seasons not too long ago, and it only made people anticipate what's to come even more. This season will mark the character's foray into the other side of the world and finally start making some headway into understanding a very important phenomenon petrification yes at least we'll be getting some information on the grand catalyst of the story and like everything else it's a discovery that i'm very eager to see the characters uncover dr stone is set to make its big return this spring 2023 <laughs> hmm. Mushoku tensei also makes its much awaited return this 2023 
This one shouldn't come as a surprise. It's not every day you see a studio being created for the sake of adapting a single series, but that should key you in on how all in the industry is going on Mushoku Tensei. They've said that they plan to adapt the and entire series. one thing when you get into anime, lady, anime food always looks fire. It looks good. It always looks good. Always looks good. But when you try to make a reality, it looks like shit. But. Hi, <laughs> 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 hi. Series, Good to know, I'll the take notes. Volumes that there are. We what won't the be fuck? saying goodbye to Rudius and the rest of doing? Dead End anytime soon. Mushoku what? Tensei has already made a huge impact with his first season, generating as much buzz as fans could possibly hope to have. With the second season comes the next phase of Rudy's adventure, adolescence. What new challenges and encounters await in his continued quest to learn more about magic and the world. For those who can't get enough of Mushoku Tensei 2023, ought to be a great year for you all. <laughs> Another show to get excited about remake. Oh, they're doing a oh, remake of that. Remake. I like to watch this one. Yep. You heard that right. After multiple live action movies, OVAs, and other material, it seems that there's still a demand for more Kenshin. Thus, the timeless classic is set to make its big return in 2023. It's quite a pleasant surprise because, like Shaman King not too long ago, the Rurouni Kenshin TV series never had a proper ending as far oh, as adapting the manga's oh. end is concerned. Animated by Linden like Films, this new anime, anime will be so readapting the manga, bringing it yeah. up to speed with modern animation and a brand new cast. It's going to be yet another addition to Linden Films film's growing resume and it's looking like their best project to date. If you weren't around in the 90s, you'll finally get to see a modernized version of the timeless classic that's yeah, captured the hearts and imagination updated, like, of anyway, anime fans for decades. It it's one of the best shown in anime out there and newer fans will finally get to experience the tale for themselves. And there you have it. Solo leveling's Solo getting leveling. its anime adaptation sooner rather than later. A lot of action. Yeah. It's not too long when people have brought up the prospect of a solo leveling anime. After seeing the webtoon adaptations of 2020, I just think that solo leveling getting an anime is the next logical step. And guess what? <laughs> We're all correct. A couple of months ago, we finally got the first trailer confirming the adaptation of the action fantasy manhwa, and it was met with a lot of excitement. And that's probably an understatement. A1 Pictures will be handling this adaptation with some great minds like Hiroyuki Samano involved. There's a lot to be excited about. The adaptation of the plot is one thing, but in terms of production, we can really tell they're putting their eggs in the basket for one of the most hyped up pieces of Korean media out there. For those looking to get their first taste of this super popular, edgy, weak to strong series, then now's your chance. Solar leveling scheduled for a 2023 release. Demon Slayer also won't be left behind oh, as this new season comes is. in in fourth place. Fucking go. Don't let anyone yeah. tell you that the hype oh, is over. Demon Slayer looks oh, to really be the Fuck really, yeah. Bro, okay, so we know Rengoku is strong in the picking. Taken. But yeah. I would love to see what would Rengoku do against those twins. Those, those, those like siblings, bro. Them twins was fucking crazy. They're not even taken, twins. Sister and brother. Yeah. Oh, man. That's what I'm saying. He's stronger than Tegan. Right. And then Tegan still won, of course. Mm -hmm. But, oh, man. I want to wonder what Red Goku would have did. It would have been East for him, bro. East. Because he, even though Akaza was holding back, but he mm -hmm. was still holding his own with him holding back. It was so much. Yeah. Right. But it's just, oh, man. I, I yeah. wish they would have made. Like what Marvel did with the What If series, uh -huh. if they would did that with anime, like What If, you know, like Sasuke versus Neji, how would that fight would have went? That would have been crazy. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Neji is my favorite, crazy. bro. Neji was my favorite. Back and Godfish and Shangon, that would be crazy, oh, bro. Yeah, Neji's a beast. Oh hell, man, they killed him. Yeah, That's stupid. Momentum of the uh, previous well, that, excellent arc with his next season, <laughs> this time featuring the Swordsmith Village arc. I just want to say, too, in a manga, bro, pay attention to this motherfucker. 
That's all I'm saying. Uh, yes. Uh, hey, the previous mm -hmm. season saw different pillars make their mark, and this one's no different. This time, it's Mist Pillar Moijiro Dokito's you know, turn my, to fight. Bro, While Danger closes always in on Danjiro, one, we also get a reunion with Genya, who should prove helpful okay. in the fight against the strongest yeah. Upper Moon Danjiro has to face so far. There's no confirmation, but I think UFO Table may be well on the way to adapting the entire Demon Slayer manga into anime. I mean, why wouldn't they when the thing basically prints money? Expect them to bring their A-plus game to this season, just as they always do, and given the intensity of the fights that we've got in store, this is going to be one glorious season. I heard her sword is crazy. I know her editing about hair is crazy, dude, bites and shit. For our third most anticipated anime, we have Jujutsu Kaisen. Mm -hmm. Fuck. <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen has quickly become a fan favorite. Mm. Thanks to its interesting magic system, likable characters, and spectacular fights, it didn't take too long for the title to become one of the most popular yeah, I gotta get up on anime it. in the Oh, if you would have read the manga between him and that dude, uh, not the main character, but uh, I forgot his name. The silver white dude, the, the one with the silver hair, all with the black, like a blindfold. Yeah. You watched him and the other dude's counter, uh, in, in her counter. That fight was fucking nuts, bro. What is uh, that? Is that a finger tip? Yeah, it's yeah. a. Is that a finger? It, yeah. you, I mean, if you say if you watch it, you like it's like one of those crazy fingers, though. It's not just a regular finger, though. It's like it's a, a crazy finger. finger? Yeah, it's like a demon. Oh. Has powers. It has powers. Give me that finger then. Oh, the past go. few years, yeah. after the first season, <laughs> <laughs> Big Bang, fans this are watching crazy more, too. and they sure got it. Why stop with Jujutsu Kaisen Zero when we can have an entire... All right. Wanting okay. more, and they sure got it. Why stop with... This Jujutsu... dude right here is fucking broken. He's broken? He's broken. I'm broken. I'm glad he has, like, a major drawback, because he would have been probably, like, one of the most OP characters in the whole show. I want to say probably OP as hell. Is it because he's got silver hair? Not that, just that, but... Like, are you care? Like, are you going to care to watch it? Or no? I mean, I don't I don't know. Maybe. What about, what about you, Reed? Oh, I'm going to watch it for sure. Yeah, this dude. So I got to watch it with my son. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, watch it. Yeah, it's fucking crazy, bro. Jujutsu Kaisen Zero when we can have an entire season two. The second season takes us to the Shibuya arc, and as someone who read the manga, I'd say it's the most engaging arc so far. Fights get turned up to 11, and the stakes, man, they've never been higher than before. If you thought season one you know was intense, wait till you see like, what's in store. Uh, you know how, like, there's logic where enemy, they uh, just like the other person just sit their power up and just mm -hmm. stay there. That dude, Gojo, bro, he... <laughs> He's not with that. He's going to fight the strongest right away, cursed spirits and cursed users shit. unite in their quest to unleash hell. You won't need to wait for too long, though, for the continuation of the epic battle shonen, as this second season will be coming this 2023. Vinland Saga's season two is up next. That first season, that first season was crazy, bro. I've got nothing but praise for Villain Saga, and I'd be the first What's one to that? share how excited I am for the second season. The first one's been an extremely engaging tale of adventure and conquest, and not only that, I've also learned quite a bit from it. However, the second season looks to depart from that and have a slow, steady approach with showing us its world. I think it only speaks to the versatility of Vinland Saga. It's not always about fighting and adventuring, and even with the change of tone, Vinland Saga has continued to be as engaging as before. It's a story about redemption, and we're sure to see some major changes in Torfin after the events of the first season. People who love nuanced character arcs will have a blast here. We only have to wait until January for the much-awaited continuation to one of 20 19's best animes. It's being handed over to Mappa, so let's cross our fingers and see what Mappa will bring to the table. Speaking of which shows being handed over to Mappa, what else better to finish this list off than Attack on Titan's final season? Oh man. Yes, it's finally coming to a close, for real this time. Oh, Attack on gosh, Titan bro. needs little introduction, being one of the most popular and iconic anime to come out in the last decade or so. This show a is a tearjerker. So I feel like Lady should get into this anime. I ain't gonna lie. I still ain't even started this shit. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> that, I would, I would just say that it's one of those animes you don't want to get too attached to the characters, bro. 
That's all. I, I already heard her because like, everybody died. Sounds in this like shit, I huh? do not want to be a part of it then. No, nah, you gotta have. That's, I have the, a lot of that's feelings. The, that. That's what makes this anime so good, though. It's no, like, I have a lot of feelings. I don't want to cry. Oh no, you gonna cry, and we're gonna re- record that. No, <laughs> no. Yeah, we gotta watch it. That's what we can do. We can watch this together, all of us. Great. I could rewatch this. I'll cry. Okay. I'm only gonna cry if you cry. Okay. And since then, and I can't believe that it's finally time for the, the whole plot thing to twist end. in here is well, nuts. It? I don't know. Maybe they'll put oh, out man. a super short run this time, and put out a great. final season ten part ten. four on us or something like that. Either way, there's not much to be said besides how everyone seems super excited to finally see the ending come in anime form. This is it. The long journey has come to an end and we've seen firsthand how experiences and revelations have shaped the journeys of our main characters. Eren, Mikasa and Armin's story comes to a climax in this dramatic conclusion. Thank you. 2023 is where it's at and where it all ends. The world is watching in anticipation as to how this long epic will wrap up. Whatever happens at the end is sure going to be the talk of the town. <laughs> oh my god. That was really intense. That's got to do it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I sure hope you'll check out VinnyTube's social media in the description box. I'll be back with more videos, so don't forget to subscribe and be the first in line. Once again, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Fucking uh, Aaron Yeager, bro. See you next time. <laughs> yeah, we got something to watch now. Attack on Titan. I don't mind rewatching Demon Slayer. I really don't. Me neither. I'll rewatch it too. Most definitely. I'll just be pissed off again because there's no more to watch. <laughs> <laughs> you can. You can. I mean, you can read it. I don't want to read it. I want to watch. <laughs> I'm a visual person. Like I like to watch. Have you seen? Uh, born. Have you seen this? This anime? No. Nah, no. Nah. It's when like they use. Like human legends, you guess it's gods. So like mm-hmm. the big boss of like you know a lot of people here like Zeus, right? He's like the big main mythology guy, yeah. right? Like Zeus. So what they use, they use Adam against him. You know who Adam is, right? You know Adam and Eve. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. the first human. They use like those like those type of biblical versus the gods, bro. It's fucking nuts. It's really good. <laughs> Thor that was interesting. Zeus ain't uh Zeus and Thor, bro. Mm-mm. They ain't playing, bro. That was interesting. Sounds interesting. Yeah, it's really cool how they did it. YouTube. Appreciate y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. We are out of here.